After five days, the trial of Euclid police officer Michael Amiad is over. The jury reached a verdict this evening centered around video that went viral after a traffic stop five years ago. News 5's Tracy Carlos has more on the verdict and reaction from both sides. Eight jurors deliberated inside Euclid Municipal Court today for about four hours before deciding the fate of Euclid police officer Michael Amiot. Case number 19CRB00890, verdict. Amiot faced three misdemeanor charges, two counts of assault, and one count of interfering with civil rights. We, the jury being duly impaneled and sworn, do hereby find the defendant Michael Amiot guilty of assault a misdemeanor of the first degree. That jury found him guilty of one count of assault and interfering with civil rights. The jury found him not guilty on the other assault charge. Almost five years ago, Amiot stopped Richard Hubbard for a traffic violation. Cell phone video that made national headlines captured what happened next. Amiot testified during the trial that Hubbard resisted arrest and felt that he was reaching for his gun belt. Hubbard said he was stopped because of race and that he did not fight back during the arrest. I think that as a result of the very bold verdict from the jury, um, the efforts from members of the community, um, justice was served today. Community activist Dr. Richard Montgomery says this case went to court because of the actions of some in the Euclid community. This started as a uh, petition from citizens in the city of Euclid. Um, many people don't know about Ohio Revised Law 2935.09.10. If you have knowledge of a crime in the state of Ohio, you can petition a judge giving them your evidence for them to do an investigation or to order an arrest. Euclid Police Chief Scott Meyer issued a statement about the ruling saying in part, I believe it is important that the process was allowed to reach its ultimate conclusion in the court of law and not the court of public opinion. It is my hope that this decision can start to bring closure to all of the parties affected. The Fraternal Order of Police also issued a statement. Dave Trent, president of the Euclid Lodge, said, we are disappointed in the jury's guilty verdict. We remain confident that Officer Amiot's actions were reasonable given the circumstances, and we continue to stand by him. Amiot will be sentenced at a later date. Hubbard filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city. Euclid settled with him for $450,000 last year. In Euclid, Tracy Carlos, News 5. And Euclid police fired Amy out over the incident, but an arbitrator reversed that decision and gave him back his job. So we reached out to Euclid police tonight, but they have not said where Amy Ott's job stands following tonight's conviction.